here is the game released on the NES system in 1992. You want to guess how I knew that? <laughs> now, Bucky Your Hair was a game made out of an anime series way back. Those of you who actually know the series, good for you. Alright, let's go. Bucky Your Hair and his crew, Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, and Willy. Fight to save the universe from the Toad Menace. Okay, now right there it says universe, but it looks like it says universe, doesn't it? It really does. Oh well. One day, a transport bringing Bucky's crew to the righteous was attacked. The Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. Blinky is a captive on the green planet, while Deadeye is sent to the red planet. Willie is held on the yellow planet. The air marshal says, Ha ha, Bucky, you're here. Your friends are mine. You are next. Bucky escaped the Toad Armada by a hair's whisker. Now he must save his loyal crew from enslavement by the terrible Toads. They come out with a hair fighting the Toads. That makes sense. Alright, here's our stages right now. The green, the red, the blue, and the yellow planets. Now, to get from the easy to hard, I would say start with the green planet. Because, the same stuff you get here, you're gonna it's going to be useful on the future planets. In fact, they balance it out so that if you don't go through one planet, you have to... If you don't go through one planet, you can't go through it without some from the other planet. This game kind of balances out for an NES. Yay! Alright, you press A to jump, B to use your attack. You hold down the B button, you use a power, which activates your special ability. In Bucky's case, it's super jump. Now, uh... When you get future characters, they use different abilities, but I'll demonstrate that pretty soon. Now something you should keep, keep in mind, Bucky is one of the only people that can only shoot straight upward. Trust me when I say this, that's going to become very handy later on. Get, damn it! I'm not going to get killed by a caterpillar. Maybe I will, I do not know. <clears throat> Maybe I'll die by an exploding spider. By the way, how did that work? Hmm. I want to ride the water. Let's ride the water. Yay, power! Alright, something to keep in mind here. Um, Every time you get a heart with an L, raises your life. You can get that with any character and, and it's all your your whole max health for every character but the same is not said for the power if you want to get full power for your characters you're gonna have to get two for each you can't just get two and just switch out and they'll have full power you're gonna have to get power for themselves we're riding on more water yay Now, something I wanted, wanted to say here, Bucky O'Hare is probably one of the probably one of the only games on the NES that actually is kind of good based on the an anime. I mean, you look at like most games that are based off an anime series, and they're not exactly the best, except for like later on, like Super Nintendo and whatnot. But this game for the NES, it I think it actually works out pretty well. The system actually works out pretty well for what it is. Ah, uh, toad shifts can light fire two lasers. Get away from me! Get away from me! I'm about to die. Crap! Power! Life! Oh, thank you! I'm gonna get that power. Jump! Yay! 
Yay! Full power, ready to go! And of course, boss, and I can't hit him. Uh, oh, I can shoot him in the back. Fuck, he's a backstabber, apparently. Or a back shooter, however you want to pronounce it. Alright, that big boulder that he's throwing, that's an instant death. So, the only way to dodge it is to get really close to him. And with that, the first boss is down. Yay! We can gain some points. And we gain our life. Hey, it's Blinky! Thank you, Captain! I just gave you a toad weapon that will smash walls of ice and stone. It also acts as a rocket pack, Captain O'Hare, allowing you to fly. Allows you to fly more like it. Password, that. But I won't need it because I have safe states. But that's about it for now. This is basically my idea of an exercise play. Let me know what you think. But now we gotta go. So, this is Kibatu. I uh, thank you all for watching it. And I hope to see you guys next time. Where we shall continue on the blue planet. But until then, see you next time.